Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm excited to get started. I've already blessed my decks of cards. I read intuitively, offering guidance on your journey. So please remember to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. We're going to go ahead and get started. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know for the week of March 10th through March 16th? Do tell. This is the Animal Spirit Oracle. We're going to pull a couple of Oracle cards and we'll get clarifiers with our tarot. All right. We've got, we've got two. We've got two right here. All right. We've got Wolf Spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom along with Fox Spirit. Think on your feet, Taurus. Okay, Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is this is a lot of mental fortitude on your part, Taurus. Uh, this is getting grounded in the knowledge you've gained with past and present experiences. All right. We're going to get clarifiers. And then with Fox Spirit, think on your feet. So this is quick. This is being um, very quick with, with responses. But I would definitely say being responsible with your quickness. Okay. Here, I feel like we can definitely use our wisdom to our advantage and to enable ourselves to have quick responses and being able to think on our feet. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the tarot is going to tell us. Divine Spirit, clarify the wolf spirit and the fox spirit for our beautiful Taurus. Taurus, drop in the comments below what is going on in your life. That is requiring you to dig deep into your wisdom to get through. And don't forget, if you missed last week's reading, I will post it in the cards for you and in the description below. All right, let's see. What should we know for Taurus? This, oh, yes, this deck is a very slippery deck. And that jumped out while I'm trying to straighten it up. So we're going to go with it. The Ace of Swords with the <laughs> with the Wolf Spirit. What else do we have? And the Seven of Pentacles so far for Taurus. All right. So with the Ace of Swords, this is definitely knowledge. This is, I would say, Spirit is... Asking you to delve into some new um, learning experiences, helping to increase your knowledge so that you can have wisdom to apply to daily situations. Because something's coming up, even with this Seven of Pentacles, it's going to take some uh, deep study, learning something new. That would be in line with what you currently do or currently know. Okay, Taurus. And then the Seven of Pentacles. This is contemplation. This is analyzing what you've been working so hard on. So I feel like Spirit is telling you to renew, look at your plan, review your plan of what you've been working on, review your plan, go into a uh, deep study mode of what you've been doing so that you can determine what is working for you. Continue doing the things that are working for you and stop doing the things that aren't working for you. So that is going to require some new learning, uh, new education on your part. Okay, Taurus, let's see. You know what? I want to clarify these. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and clarify the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles for you, Taurus. Spirit, give us clarification for Taurus with their knowledge and wisdom. 
embodying the energy of wolf spirit. Six of Cups and Justice. All right. All right, Taurus. All right. So with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Justice card. This is, yes, this is using knowledge from your past, using past experiences, Taurus. You might have put them in the back of your mind or put them in the back burner, but Spirit is saying those past experiences are useful. So go back into that to help you gain a better understanding. Apply that knowledge and understanding to elevate to the level of wisdom because we cannot have wisdom, Taurus. We cannot have wisdom until we apply the knowledge that we've learned. So Spirit is saying, look into what you've gone through in the past that has been useful and you may have forgotten about it but it's going to be useful to you to you today and then you have the justice card there is some balancing of your emotional state Taurus and your mental state is what i feel spirit is wanting you to know you will come out on top. There will be fairness applied to what it is you're doing. Give yourself a chance. Be fair when you go through your analysis and look at your plan, determining what is working and what is not. Okay, Taurus, be fair. Don't be overzealous um, saying, oh, it's all working because this is my plan. Be honest with yourself. Have a fair judgment of your own plan. Be realistic is what I feel spirit is asking you to do. Let's move on to Fox Spirit. Think on your feet. All right. Think on your feet, Taurus. This is, this is good. This is, this shows the ability to be clever, the ability to be quick witted. And it seems like you're going to need it. Again, you have the justice card. Big energy. Big energy here. Okay. And then queen of wands. Wow. All right. So again, with justice. With the justice card, again, spirit is telling you, be fair in your analysis, your self-analysis, when you're reviewing your plan. Be mindful of making sure your plan is not heavily weighted on one side or the other with more risk than there is reward. All right, Taurus. Something big. And I also feel like, I feel like something has, something has been levied against you verbally. Something has been levied against you, Taurus, that is not true. And the truth will come out because of your cleverness that is not underhanded or or deceptive in any way. But you will have the means because you're quick-witted, because you're clever, that, that accusation or rumor that has been levied against you, Taurus, will fall apart. You will have justice and the culprit will be revealed as to who and why. And people will know exactly who they are at this point, Taurus. All right. And then you have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is definitely um, strong. She's definitely independent. She is creative. And this is male or female. Excuse me. It doesn't. It's just... Energy is energy. It doesn't matter if you are male or female gendered, okay? With the Queen of Wands, the leadership with the independence, the independence, you are built for your independence because of the knowledge and wisdom you apply. You don't need anyone else thinking for you, Taurus, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Hmm. I get it. Yeah. Jeez. You are determined to come out on top. 
King of Coins, and the Three of Wands. All right. Also, I feel like I should. I need to tell you this. With you getting both two justices in your reading, Taurus, this proves that your life will be illuminated. Um, you will be enlightened and you will also need to rely heavily on your intuition, balancing your intuition along with your wisdom. And the wisdom does come with from within. The wisdom does come from our higher self, but we have to do the work, right? I felt like I had to tell you that. So the king of coins for you, Taurus, and the three of wands. The three of wands... There's some sort of communication. Again, it will be revealed. It will be told who has been levying rumors against you that are untrue, that are meant to hurt you, Taurus. That communication is coming forward. That's coming out, right? This will allow you to progress in your in your career, but also in your everyday life is what I'm getting. And as far as the king of coins, king of pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, hard work. You've been, you've been working diligently. And here we see the seven of pentacles. That's you analyzing your work. So spirit is letting you know, yes, you have been working diligently, but keep up a steady pace. Don't go too fast. Don't move too slow. You study long, you study wrong. So you want that balance that we that keeps coming up very heavily for you, Taurus. Be responsible with with that quick knit quick wittedness. I want to say to you, you are clever as a fox. You have a quick tongue. Be responsible with it. Say what you need to say, and do it in a way that is. As respectful as you can be, I know sometimes we want to return the same energy that we're getting, and yet it could leave you feeling really bad that you responded that way. So remember, you can only control yourself and your actions or your reactions, right? You can't control what someone else is doing. You can respond. So slow and steady. You have been responsible. You're absolutely a leader and you and you're on your way up. You're continuing your star is continuing to rise with this 3 of wands. Taurus, you are being noticed. So whatever this person has levied against you that is untrue, it will be revealed and you will continue to elevate in your career. I feel like this is definitely a work thing that's happening. So Absolutely. Okay. I feel like there's more. Queen of Cups. All right. Queen of Cups for you, Taurus. So. I realize I'm feeling that you are already a nurturing person. But what I'm getting is do not forget to nurture yourself. Do not forget to take care of yourself. Fill your cup first, Taurus, because we don't want you getting depleted. At that point, you can give to no one else. You can't help anyone if you can't help yourself, right? All right. Something else is here. I don't feel like this is the end of the reading for you. What else does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Do tell. What else does Taurus need to know? Seven of Pentacles. You're getting Seven of Pentacles again. Definitely evaluation, right? Persevere. You must persevere through this. I'm getting a sense of uncomfortability on the job. Mm. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have the lovers. So bring yourself into harmony. Go with the flow 
and control what you can control, right? Persevere through whatever this falsehood is against you. Evaluate things that you have done so far. Do more of what's working for you. Do less of what isn't working for you. And when, you, when you're able to do that, you're able to bring yourself into harmony. You need to be in harmony with self in order to be in harmony with others, right? And this is of service to you and of service to others, Taurus. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Taurus, if you've made it to the end of the video, this was definitely for you. Drop in the comments what stands out to you the most and reson resonates with you mostly for this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.